This is little Jack Lope sound test. If you guys think my volume is just right, please give me a purple heart in the chat feed. Thank you. We'll get started here soon. Well, I was 16 at Seeker School. I didn't know what I wanted to do. I bought a guitar. I got the fever. That's rock and roll. I played at parties, played in bars. I spent my money buying new guitars. I scream my heart out, but I would love it. That's rock and roll. Oh, you can't hear? Oh, no! Let's try this again. <laughs> hey, guys. Little Jack of the Amateur Sleuth Blog. Just done a frazzle with all the things happening today. I'm here with... Tess. <laughs> and guess who she is? <laughs> Take three. Oh, my God. <laughs> I know. Oh, so gosh. many things. But now that we've got everything going, um, hopefully that the, uh, the game audio is going to sound a lot better. Yes. Uh, just because we are starting our stream all over again, we're going to go over the... Just a few things real quick before we get started. One, we do have a contest going on for that prize. Go ahead and show oh, that yes. prize. Today's prize is... Season yeah. one. Yes. Of the Nancy Drew and Hardy Boys TV series from the 70s. So, yes. Yes. And how do you win that today, little Jack? Oh, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> I forget. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a keyword today. A magic Hooray. keyword. Nobody knows what this keyword is, but if you guys just continue chatting and asking questions, participating in the chat, someone's bound to say this keyword. Yes. We are. We will randomly select, actually, we're not going to randomly select. The first one that we see pop up with that keyword in their feed will be the winner of that, and we will announce that winner at the end of day today. Yep. Now, there's another contest going on for you to win a prize. Um, anytime during the stream today, tomorrow, Monday and Tuesday, when we are going to finish up the stream, 
Take a selfie of yourself watching the stream, post it to Facebook or Twitter with the hashtag NDTwitch, and we will randomly select from all the people who entered to win this prize. Ta-da! This is a, we actually went to the Nancy Drew and Hart, uh, 2017 Haunted Main Convention just a couple weeks ago, mm-hmm. and this is, we, we saw these actors in person, and we got legit autographs from Parker Stevenson and Pamela Sue Martin. This is actually real ink, so if you were to scratch scratch it off, it will come off. It's this is authentic. We got their autographs. This is the prize. It's really good cool luck prize. to all. It's a yes. really cool prize. Yeah, and I'll if you take good care of it, I promise. Um, I was just gonna go ahead and scratch off their signatures, <laughs> quick, but you I know, just I'm to check if it's actually like real. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, you can see like the sh- the sharpie yeah, shine. The sharpie, I guess the it's distinct shine. from the picture. Yeah, it's like but faded yeah. right there, and there's like a spot right there where it got smudged. <sighs> yeah, see, it's an authentic smudge signature. It is authentic. <laughs> yeah, and yes. if you guys don't have Facebook or Twitter, um. They can do the contest email, right? Yeah, they can email at us at contest at herinteractive.com, but you have to give us permission to post it to social yes. media so that it qualifies. Yes. Yes. Um, and we got, of course, these little fun doodads mm-hmm. from the convention, too. <sighs> <laughs> hey, how's it going? Oh, no, you can't even say it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are just so Rats. fun. <laughs> <laughs> Mwah. <laughs> wow. Tell them about the drinking game. Oh, yes. So we have, we're playing a drinking game today and for the stream. So we have coffee, and you can use whatever beverage you like, whether it's water, like a good hydrator person. Um, And so whenever you hear the word Charlotte or see the word Charlotte. Or see her. Yeah, or see her. Then you take a nice big old drink. So. Mm -hmm. I have coffee that has sugar in it, and it's going to be all kinds of fun to stream today. Yep. Same with mine. It's great. Oh, and we also have Ooh. caramels. Yeah. Well, Jackalope brought these back from from the convention, so. Caramels. Yeah. Caramels. And Vanilla they're, flavored. Yeah. So, I'm excited. What are your guys' snacks? Oh, yeah. What kind of things do you guys have? I'm going to just stick this in my face, and hopefully I can talk. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into playing the game, yeah. and you oh, guys. Wait. Start. Oh, what? Before, before we begin. I've got sun in my face. <laughs> we can, I was going to say, we probably close the blinds, but. Which, which blind is, oh, no, it's actually the clock that's reflecting off of the oh. sun. <laughs> it's my like a new clock. I just put a blanket, or that works too. Or just take just it off. off. It was Ta-da. totally reflecting in my face. <laughs> Sweet. Um, but yes, some quick chat feed rules. Um, especially for people that may just be joining. Please keep it PG um, friendly, family friendly. We have some younger people in the audience that are watching, so um, be nice there, which again, you guys are generally pretty good about that. And then second thing, no spoilers at all for um, this game or for any of our other games that includes spoilers for um, like who the culprit is or any big events that are about to happen. And if we're like stuck um, like on a puzzle or something, then you can go ahead and help us out. But no, no yes. other spoilers. So yes. Okay, I think I think we handled everything, right? We should pose really nicely for the camera so I can t- <laughs> 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 so I can take a screenshot and make it our our picture later for the YouTube uh, picture. Yeah. Yeah. Bravo. That was well done. That was, that was gorgeous. That was really nice. Thank you. All right. You tell us how how the stream looks and sounds, you guys. Mm-hmm. Feel free to speak up. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get started and we're actually play. We can do this. Um, and just FYI, um, we don't have the night bot working right now. So if you guys are hosting us, thank you so much for hosting us. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, the animated GIF will not pop up with the stu- with the software that we're using right now. But it's an animated Coco Kringle cow. Mm-hmm. I made that all special for you, but I'm sorry it's not going to work mm-hmm. for this uh, program. Yeah. It was cool, too. It mooed at us every time. Yeah, scared the living daylights <laughs> out of me every time, too. Mm-hmm. My goodness. Uh, let's go ahead and restart from the beginning All so right. that... Um, and you go ahead and control... Oh, mm. wow. Is that too loud? It could also just be the phone. Uh, well, that's loud. What time is it? Light. Savannah? Is that you? How does that sound? What's wrong? I got a case for you. Perfect. Can it wait no. until later? I'm sorry, it can't. There's been a kidnapping. 
A girl, just a little older than you. <laughs> <sighs> Shouldn't the police be taking care of this? There's only so much they can do, and she needs to be found before something bad happens. <gasps> what do you Yay. mean? That's the works. call came in for me, but I can't go. Thought Indeed, Hall is a I dangerous you, place you. for people <laughs> like me. Ghost hunters, you mean? So people think it's haunted? Uh uh. They know. Jessalyn needs someone who ain't afraid to run after her. That ain't me. A deadly kitten? What I I'm love asking you. Thank of you. you. <laughs> is dangerous. After everything you did for me in Japan, I'll do it. Thank you. Drive to the airport now. I'll arrange a ticket. And Nancy, I didn't call you just because you're a good detective. I called you because you're a skeptic. Thornton Hall is no place for anyone who believes. Excuse me. What? Well, then you Sorry. called the Are right okay? detective. I'm serious. You think long and hard about that before you get on that plane. If what you find on the island is going to get to you, don't go. Stay home. Don't worry. I'm on the case. Yeah, Nancy. Yes, thank you. I do like You sure about this? I am. Watch yourself around the Thorntons. They earn their bad reputation. Well, thanks for being concerned. I should be okay. Well, it depends who's here. Hope for your sake Wade's not skulking around. That's or that loony been reject Harper. But it's Charlotte you best watch for. Black Rock Island Ooh. belongs to her Ooh. now. Charlotte. As ever since the night the fire took her. Take care now. Don't leave me. I love you. <laughs> Alright. Yes, it takes place in Georgia. Gonna look over here. This is all new. Wow. Scavenger hunt list. I guess we need to start hunting for things. <laughs> and a coin with a tree. Looks like it's from Nightmare Before Christmas. Ooh. Thank you guys so much for your patience as we switched over yes. to making the stream a lot better for you because we're doing this for you guys and I want to make sure that's actually a good stream. Mm -hmm. Jesse Rue, you're from Georgia. Hey! <laughs> I forgot that he just. You're not Savannah. <laughs> No, but you must be Wade. Is she with you? Are you the new assistant? What's his name, get canned or something? Logan? I don't know. All I know is that she thought I'd be the right person for the case. She's not coming. What did you just say? She said she was sorry to send me, but nothing could get her to come here. <laughs> I never took her for a coward. Well, like she seemed pretty scared of the ghosts. <laughs> ghosts? No, that ain't it. She's scared of seeing me. All right, good talk. Uh, I hope Savannah understands the mess she dropped you in. All right. <clears throat> Sorry, uh, Louise. When you say you're from Malaysia, are you are you there right now? Ooh, that's a ways away. What time is it? You? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what time is it where you, where everyone is, yeah. everybody in chat, what time is it in your zone? <laughs> Go ahead. In your zone. Let's see this. I can handle I myself. can handle myself just fine. You're just a kid. <laughs> you could say the same thing about Jessalyn. True enough. <laughs> say what suits you. Won't make the nights around here any shorter. Anyway, Savannah had a package sent. I guess it must be for you. It's up in the house. <laughs> Excuse me. Bless you. Or I guess it's not bless you, Nancy. Who okay. else is here? Clara. That's Jessalyn's mother. Colton, her fiance. Anyone else? Depends what you mean by anyone. Any other alive or verifiably <laughs> real people? No. <laughs> Alright. Do you know Savannah? I did. Once. And now? And now I don't. Alright. How'd you meet How did you meet Savannah? We went to the same bookstore. You don't seem oh, like a type. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment and an insult. How long ago was this? A while. Gone now. It was a little old dark place. Carried these musty old books. Stuff that didn't exist anywhere else. Mm, old bookstores. What kind of stuff? All sorts. But I was there researching our family. Savannah had this way of reading, like there was something she needed to know real bad. <laughs> One day I finally asked, What is it you need to know so bad? You know what she said? What? 
nothing. She handed over the book she was reading and walked out. At first, I'm feeling a touch rejected, but then I look at the book. What was the book? That was the crazy thing. It was the Thornton family book of names. Births, deaths, marriage, and so on, going way back. Why would she have that? Why, indeed. I had to know. Took me some doing, but I tracked her down. So you met Savannah because she was trying to find Charlotte's ghost? One of those people who met her was Savannah. Ask her, and maybe she'll tell you about it. After that, she became obsessed with Thornton Hall. We got to know each other. I fell for her like a Black Tuesday banker. In the end, the landing was just as rough. Hmm. You said you were researching the family. Why? Oh, wait. After Charlotte that. died. Hmm. That's when something I always knew came out shining so bright, I finally had to admit it. Long as it's been growing, the Thornton family tree's been split down the middle. The evil roots always trying to strangle out the good. I used to think I was on the side of good. And now? What do you think? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know. Yep, same here. <laughs> what? Should we keep talking to him or should we... Go elsewhere. Yes. A uh, shout out to the Australians who are watching our stream. Good morning to you. Good. What time is it? It's like 8.55 in the morning for them ah. in Brisbane. Well, good morning. <laughs> or good day. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we don't know much about Australia. No. Except P. Sherman 42 Wallaby Way City. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, I don't know how many See you later. people. Adios. That's not how you say that. Adios. This I game takes place in Georgia. All right, let's look around. Let's see. Rosalie. No need to jump. Go. Just me. Can you tell me about <laughs> some of these stones? I'll tell you what I can. But <sighs> sometimes it's best to just look and listen. Excuse that me. there is Clara's mother. What can you tell me about her? Not a great deal. She loved her secrets. Never even told Clara who her daddy was. Why not? Don't know. When Clara was about ten, Rosalie got real sick. Every day, Clara would ask about her daddy. I think she was afraid of being left to fend for herself. But Rosalie wouldn't say. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. Then let's look over here. The game is so dark. I wish I could brighten it up for you. I know. <laughs> I can brighten up my monitor, but it's not gonna help brighten up the screen for you guys. No. We, this it says a spark at birth, <laughs> a flame in life, a quiet ember in the night. Ru Ru Ruby Newton. It's hard. There's like a shine like right in the middle oh. of the name. All right. Let's look over here. What do we have? May Newton died, January 13. 1990 or 1933. So May Newton, sister of Fig Newton, <laughs> 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 and Isaac Newton. I don't know. Harper Stone. Oh, Harper. Indeed, she ran away shortly after Charlotte died. Charlotte. Long enough that we thought we'd lost her too. One day she walked in the front door looking wild and thin as a spring sapling. Never said where she was. Her granddaddy was so mad he left the stone to remind her of what she'd put them through. Wow. She'd sit out there and read. Don't know if it was spite or if it made her feel at home. Knowing her, probably both. Like, read by the gravestone? Is that like... That seems a little creepy. Fig Newtons are the best. They they are pretty good. We, we grew up with... This Newtons. blank one is my favorite. What? Why is that? Well, who doesn't want a celebrity in the family? Especially one that rubs all the wrong people the wrong way. The Grey Lady. In the Civil War, they say she was a spy, passing codes for the North. If you look, you can find some of her contraptions here. Her service gave the Thornton family this land. Oh. Alright. 
And as thanks, they put up a gravestone with nothing about her. I don't know. That just doesn't seem like a very thankful thing. It's like getting a, like a blank inside card and just giving it to someone as is without writing it. I don't know. That's what it feels like to me. Right. Whoa! Wait, there's... Ah! There's two rounds of these stones. Alright. Wait, did we just look here? Okay, I, was I have just tried turning off Nightbot, so you guys can go ahead and post like a bajillion <coughs> emojis and they won't try to stop you because it <laughs> looks like they were trying to stop you from doing emojis. So someone do me a favor and do like five emojis of the exact same thing. Let's see if Nightbot will uh, let you know. Beauregard Thornton. Mean old codger. <laughs> Thanks, Wade. That's all. <laughs> That's all you need to know about him is he was just a mean old codger. I feel like these are gonna come in handy someday. Oh, yay! Look at all the emojis! Sarah Emma Thornton. May she find her voice once more. <clears throat> Jesse Rue, 1995, can you please private message me um, what it is that you tried writing in the chat? Because That's I'd like Charlotte. to know what it is. Dear that sweet Charlotte, please come back. Oh. That's a sad inscription. It was a sad time. None of us wanted to see her leave. We didn't expect it to become what it's become. It's a little ominous. That day, though, wow. Only 21. Alright. Did they say Take a drink. Oh, yeah, that's right. We saw Charlotte and we heard Charlotte, so I think you should take two drinks. One. Mm. Yep. Two. Alright. Let's look over here. Luther. Luther, my daddy. Mama called him the king of slamming doors. He had a hot temper, hot temper, but a soft heart, and no mind for business. He was an intuitive. He brought me out here to the stones at night. Taught me how to open my eyes, shut up, and listen. You rest well, Daddy. Alright. King of slamming doors. It could, could be worse. Could be worse names. Virginia, know? my mother. Rest her soul. Can you tell me anything about her? Just that I miss her, and I always will. Right. What were you saying? Okay, I tried blocking Nightbot. <laughs> <laughs> Nightbot's probably really offended. Yeah, if any of you um, have experienced something where Nightbot has uh, blocked or deleted your message, can you uh, please private message me and let me know what it is that you tried saying? Does anybody, does anybody use the mobile app for Twitch? Do you know where I'm supposed to find the private messaging on here? If you oh. like. After you're done going through all of this um, graveyard, yeah, and you start to head back, when you do start heading back to the Thornton Hall, mm -hmm. call Ned. Or oh, yes. Or someone. Cool. Yeah. It'll do. Thornton Cemetery. This plaque honors those who found their final rest beyond the family grounds, including Franklin Thornton, um, defending his nation. Dedicated January 15th, 1918. So this has been here for a while. Nothing. Blink. Alright. Let's see. Let's go over here. Is there anything we can find in the bushes? Nope. Nothing. And then we go over here. It's a lovely fountain. I love it. A bunch of cool little benches. Nice. Alright. Uh, can't go over there. Can't go there. Alright. Whispers. There it is. Found it. Oh. Ooh. More stones. Roger and Marie. Side by side from the day they married to the day they died. Both real sweet. Charlotte and Harper's parents. May they rest in peace. You looked like you were going to say something. I'm thinking. Oh, okay. Alright. And I 
think we looked over here all we can and let's go over here there's nothing on the ground there's nothing over there oh. cool 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 nothing there let's go inside. it's locked oh no try it well, anyway i guess we'll need a we'll need a key Oh, just kick a door. Kick the door down, Nancy. I know. We'll get a running start. Ready? And ah! That didn't do anything. <laughs> uh, one of these days, I think Nancy just needs to do just a straight up running start. I think that'd be really funny. All right, let's head back. But now, let's call. Let's call some people. Oops. Go back. Yes. All right. All right, people. We're gonna call y'all. Oh, it's a phone charm. Ooh, Bess. Hello, Bess. Bess's phone. All right, bonus Ned. <laughs> what are you two bonus up Ned. to? George is in New York. So, she got yeah, the yeah, internship yeah. with that technology of tomorrow place? Yeah, Ned and I were just planning a road trip for when you're back. I was in the middle of trying to convince Ned to grow a bad mustache so we can hang out in Brooklyn. <laughs> Not going to happen. <laughs> Someone has to, Ned, and George already said no. <laughs> really angry no, too. Anyway, did you make it to the island? I did. I've been doing a little research, and I can see why Savannah sent you. Why's that? If I believed in ghosts, I wouldn't come within a few hundred miles of Black Rock Island. I can definitely see why. Even I have to admit it does have a certain abyss gaze is also into you vibe to it. Put that on a billboard. <laughs> I've got your back. I've been reading up on missing persons cases and hauntings. Wow, really? Thanks, Ned. I know. Oh, that's great. I, on the other hand, have been watching videos of otters. So <laughs> good at stacking things. <laughs> Additionally, I've kidnapped Ned. I've been so bored since George left, and Ned's a very active listener. Mm hmm. See? Mm -hmm. And he's also very quick to Stockholm. <laughs> Nickerson family trait. We like being liked. <laughs> oh, thanks, you two. <laughs> I want to catch you up on the case. I love so it's a missing persons case, right? Do you think she's actually missing? I don't know. I've heard of runaway brides, but I don't think that's the case. If it's a missing persons case, why aren't the police taking care of it? Well, they are, but since she's an adult, there's only so much they can do. Ned was telling me about the ghosts out there. Do you think maybe they're related? Actually, I believe in this ghost. Ned? Do I have permission to do a spit take in your living room? No. <laughs> I'm doing it anyway. Say that again. Please don't. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Stand down, Bess. The Nickersons are a tidy people. I wasn't really going to do it, guys. <laughs> Unless someone made me laugh. And this is that super red soda that's still on the market, even though it's been linked to distractibility in 9 out of 10 Besses. <laughs> are you finally trading in your Skeptics Club card? And miss the dinner Whoa. that probably won't happen this year? <laughs> no way. People here believe in the ghost. I think if I don't take the ghost story at least a little seriously, I might miss something. Smart. Well, I hope so. <laughs> I met Wade. I still say giving your child a verb for a name dooms them to a life of hearing mediocre jokes. <laughs> What's wrong? He's got a bit of a rough edge. He seems surprised that I came instead of Savannah. What do you mean? He wanted Savannah here, specifically. Why? I don't know, but I intend to find out. Goodbye. Talk to you later. I feel like having a conversation with Nancy would be just the weirdest experience because it's like right. she just decides I'm done with you. Goodbye. It's just like I'm gonna find out. Okay, later. That's the end of conversation. Hope you didn't want to tell me anything else. See, this I, I forget how funny that the phone combos are in this game for Bess and Ned are. I, I always miss calling them. Like I never call them when I'm actually playing. Mm -hmm. But they're so yeah. Bess is hilarious. Oh my goodness. Yes. Um. And it definitely, I, th I think it definitely helps because this game is so creepy. And it's so heavy and dark mm -hmm. and like dreary and depressing. You kind of need that comic relief. Mm -hmm. Just so that you don't die. Like if you're, if you're playing this at night, oh my gosh, I made the mistake of doing Jessa? that. Excuse me? Sorry, of course you're not. I'm just tired. No, don't be. I'm Nancy. Don't be tired? 
<laughs> You're here to help? Savannah Woodham called me in. She seems to think there's a supernatural explanation to Jessalyn's disappearance. <sighs> a couple of days back, that would have earned an eye roll. I'm Colton, the fiancé. Welcome the fiance. to Thornton Hall. <laughs> I'd extend you all the courtesies of the Thornton clan, but we seem to be about 20 years too late for that. <laughs> you might need this. I found it in the house. Oh, I thought it was a bug. I was like, why are you oh, getting it? Yeah. Cotton. Is this Jesslyn's? <laughs> yeah. It's dead, though. And the charger got mangled by something. Maybe you could channel all that inquisitive energy into seeing if you can get that old phone back up and running. It may be forgotten, I Joe. I've been. Were you and Jessalyn getting married <laughs> soon? <laughs> yes. Any chance this is just pre-wedding jitters? She might have had second thoughts about the wedding. <laughs> Trust me, everyone does. But she never let anyone worry about her like this. She loved her family more than anything. He's kind of lagging too. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it's just my computer that's not running very well. I don't know. My computer overall just hasn't been doing so well today. Is it safe to assume you had second thoughts about the wedding? I never said that. True, but you implied it. You said, trust me, everyone does. I know. I remember it like it was just moments ago. <laughs> All snarky. He does look like a character that would belong in the Twilight series. Kind of, of vampire-ish. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. He's secretly related to Edward Cullen. Yes. And see, now he's giving you the cold story. He's just like, don't even talk to me. Yep. Just, I'm not interested. Like, well, fine. Dude. Let's look around. Look around, look around. Ah. Uh, someone just got up from that chair. The swing. Uh-huh. And they ran away, or mm. they hid, or something, because they're not there now. Yeah. And that's creepy. Neon Sweet Leon, God. thanks for stopping by anyways. Good to have you. Oh, yes. Oh. Always good to have people. Smash it with a hammer! Sorry. Smash it. And yes. it was, yes. Thank you for coming by. Um, is there anything? He's related to Shorty. <gasps> he doesn't, well, he looks like, yeah, like a nephew of Shorty. I could see it. I can see it. Ooh. We're just now entering the Thornton House. Hall. Alright. House. Let's go in this room. Hello. Hi. You must be Nancy. Must be. Yep. Yes. You must be Clara. Jessalyn's to. mother. <laughs> yes. I want you to okay. know that I'm here to help you with anything you need. That's real sweet, hon. I know you may not want me here since you didn't actually call me yourself. So long as you help me find Jessalyn, you're welcome under what's left of my roof here. Is there anything else I should know that might help me find Jessalyn? Yeah. Keep a suspicious eye on Wade. Everyone says that. I know. Wade didn't seem all that dangerous to me. He neglected to tell you about his time spent in jail, I see. As a matter of fact, Wade's a nice guy when he wants to be. And only when he wants to be. I'm happy we have another set of eyes looking for Jesse, but I do hope you know what you're getting yourself into. Some of these lines I just I'm I'm taken back to the the, the Ghost of Thornton Hall trailer. Yes. It's like yes. all of these one-liner quotes that we pull out for the trailers. Mm -hmm. I know I know this quote. I was just I thinking that too. It's like, oh my gosh. Especially, yeah, it's just like, from like the motion too, you're just like, oh, I remember. <laughs> Sorry, Owen Spader, I know, I'm playing with our candy wrapper, I'm trying to get caramel stuck out of the wrapper. Would you like another caramel? I feel like no, I kind of but I haven't tried this one yet. Oh. I just have to get it off the wrapper. <laughs> <laughs> yes, man of the year calendar. And also, guys, be on the lookout for any kind of great goodbye that we could have at the end of yes. our signature, you know, our signature goodbye. Yeah. So if you see me, like, thing that we could say that's unique to this game. Yes. Then let us know. Who did Jessalyn come here with? Addison. I tried talking to her, but she was a wreck. Here. Alright. Her phone. No! <laughs> <laughs> She'll have calmed down a bit by now. I hope. 
Yeah, you can do whatever you want. Oh, no, it, it ran away. It just left a stupid look on my face, but that's fine. <laughs> what do you think happened to Jessalyn? <laughs> you wouldn't know by the look of this dump, but we're worth a great deal of money. Huh. Well, that's what I thought this was. <laughs> but then, no, no. Not yet, at least. I, I can't believe I'm praying for a ransom note to show up. Huh. It's like... <laughs> Someone's trying to punish us. Why do you say that? Thornton Hall was once something truly beautiful. But so much greed and tragedy built up in these walls that when they started to crumble, I wanted to save this place, make it mine. But I couldn't. So whoever took Jessie wanted us to sit here in this broken down old house waiting for her. Is there any chance Jessalyn's disappearance could be cold feet? My Jessie would never put her family through this nightmare. Never. All right. Should we keep talking or should we... Let's keep talking. Okay. Were things good between Colton and Jessalyn? They had their rows and their romantic dinners, same as any couple. Colton had some... Well, hon, he had some issues, but they worked through them. All right. You mentioned that Colton had some issues. Just now. What did you Just mean? Did. To put it delicately, family issues. Never you mind. It has nothing to do with what's going on now. All right. Why is everyone here? Shouldn't we be out searching for Jessalyn? I closed down the company. The entire staff is out combing the woods. I said, sit home or join the search. You get paid either way. Not a soul stayed home. Jessalyn grew up in the business. She's got a lot of people looking out for her. I can be thankful for that. Mm -hmm. The police recommended a presence here. They said we'd have a better chance of noticing if something was off here, knowing the place and all. All right. Goodbye. See you later, hon. She's so friendly. Can't do that right now. I <laughs> wanna do that right now. What is that? Mm -hmm. Right there? Mm-hmm. And go back? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go back. Oh! Right? Yes? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then go back. <laughs> oh, wait, what? What? Did I miss it? He blinked. Oh! Wait, can I do it again? <laughs> I'm gonna try to replicate it. Blink! Blink! Hyrium, or Hyrium, or Hyrum, or whatever your name is. <laughs> Sir! Do it! <laughs> Just do it! Caramel and stick in my mouth together. <laughs> that was a great <laughs> That was a great conversation, I think. Action, have her send an email to contest at herinteractive.com but give us permission to post it for her. Yes. Be sure to do that. Ah Espionage. In a bonnet. Thank, thank you, seeker of books. Let's see, there's Rose Greenhow, Harriet Tubman. Bell Boyd. These are real people in mm -hmm. the real history. <laughs> in the real history. <laughs> is this the real history? Or is this in okay. Elizabeth Van Lu, Sarah M. Ed Evans. Mm -hmm. And what? Mm -hmm. Oh no! Mm -hmm. That's okay. Keep going. Keep I'm a ghost! Going. Woo! Charlotte has taken control of the camera! Oh, yeah. And there's this book too. Oh! So let's see, when the winds grew cold and the waves made passage back to the mainland difficult, workers were granted permission to stay overnight in the factory. None survived. But then there's a whole bunch of other stuff that's crossed out, so that's really suspicious. And an ink mark. Apparently, they didn't care about being neat and tidy, but, you know, whatever. Let's see. The long, cold night on Black Rock. The years of plenty would soon be upon the Thornton clan, but they would not come without a price. In order to keep a close watch on the production facility, Jeff had a small factory built on the Black Rock property. 
he did not foresee the potentially disastrous possibilities. That looks like clickbait. You go ahead and uh, keep reading. Okay. Sarah was the first to enter the factory morning after the ac oh the morning after the accident and right. never recovered from the shock of what she found within. Many within the town held Sarah in high regard for her kind, open nature. The employees in particular had an unwavering appreciation for Sarah, who had taken on the role of caregiver once the factory moved onto the island, affectionately calling her Nana. She'd visit the factory twice a day with bread and treats, even offering a warm bed in the main house to any employee who fell ill. Shortly after the tragedy, Jeb began construction of a housing unit for inclement weather and immediately restaffed the factory, despite Sarah's wishes. While Jeb seemed justifiably upset, he was determined to maintain the family business no matter what. When the new employees arrived on the island, Sarah retired to her room, refusing to leave until her death a few years later. Wow. <laughs> now you see me, now you don't. Uh, it's been said that a handwritten note found in her pocket read, We have sown the black seeds of death, and forevermore we will harvest only blood. Mm. That doesn't seem like a very profitable business, Sounds unless like you're dealing with vampires. Yes. Um, in which case, then it's probably very popular. Um, Gross. <laughs> evidence suggests that this note may have been fabricated, but the chilling message remains a popular element of Thornton lore. Jeb was hit hard by the loss of his wife, but remained steadfast in his attempts to grow the family business into something worth the tragic cost of the lives it had taken. Jeb's drive became somewhat of a family trait after his passing a few years later, as did Sarah's discomfort with the business. In the generations to come, a dogged dedication to the company or quizness with the real cotton candy. Well, became the two defining characteristics of the Thornton clan. Uh, <laughs> Most beloved family members eventually had to choose a side. I'm just giving you a hard time. <laughs> it is warm in here, though. Mm -hmm. I think you should just continue the rest of the stream that way. Just mm -hmm. like, hardcore mm -hmm. fan! <laughs> Oh, that was funny. That was fantastic. Have we gone upstairs yet? We have not. No, but we haven't looked at these lovely portraits, which need some dusting, because they're very messy. And, ooh, whoa -ho. Bunch of stuff. Let's play the piano. Yas. Or, or not. Ooh, tea. <gasps> ooh, take those. Fruit, I guess because we need it. And easy. I guess we need that. Obviously. Oh. I need to add some tea first well, to order this I, process. What if I don't want to? What if I don't want to? There. <laughs> okay, wait. Oh. They're such cute little teacups. Oh, no. Sugar. All the sugar. I don't think there is much of a Easter egg or an award for doing this. Is there? I don't know, but this is awesome. Whoever's tea, this is... It's gonna be super, it's super... It's perfect as is. It's perfect as is. Oh, Nancy My likes that. My hands say, add more. But my heart says no. <laughs> <laughs> and then the don't think I need more of that. Sure you do. And then it's right here. My hands say Aww. add more. <laughs> but my heart says no. Oh, I wanted to just. What if I wanted to give that to someone else? Kate and Carson, thanks for coming back. See you tomorrow. <gasps> Bye. Bye. All right. Well. Have a drink? Yeah, there you go. That was cool. We should take bananas. We should have potassium. I guess Nancy only likes oranges, though. Well, fine, Nancy. Is he gonna blink? Tea. Tea Beauregard. is a choice. Thornton. Beauregard. That sounds like a good cat name. <laughs> <laughs> it does. You know what? It does. What? Do you, for those of you who like tea, what kind of tea do you like, and how do you take it? Ooh. Do you like tea? I do. What kind of tea do you like? Well, I like oolong hmm. and green and lemon and herbal and chamomile, but my favorite is black tea. Mm. Um, I really like English breakfast. Okay. And a version called uh, Parisian breakfast, which is similar to English breakfast, but it has lavender and bergamot in it. It's a little bit sweeter, but it's got a slightly different taste. Ooh. Well, oh, this teaches us how to make homemade batteries. Whee! With coins. And potato. And fruit. Pie is good. Soda. Contest winners! Yay! Ooh, Hotel Chatham. Or Chatham. You made it sound a lot prettier than I think it actually is pronounced. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> but it's hey. got 600 rooms and 500 baths. So if you have wow. 500 people that need to take a bath at one time, 
I don't have all the parts I need. Well, no. Oh, you need well, uh, pennies. Oh, true. Copper pennies. Can we find copper pennies? This looks like a painting. Mm. I should find somewhere to place it. This Why don't looks you like a clean up the rest of the house while you're at it, too, Nancy? <laughs> <laughs> That's what she really came to do. You think she came to solve a mystery, but actually it's just housekeeping. Uh, Denise, do you put apple marmalade in the black tea? Or you just serve it, hmm. like, on toast or something? How was that pumpkin spice latte, Raccoon? Time to recharge the battery. Was it fabulous? Can't do that yet. Raspberry Leaf Can't Team is piano yet. hero. Yeah. All right. Let's see if all those oranges did the trick. Oh, okay. Now we just leave that there and come back to it later. All right. Which, fun fact, so that kind of thing, it actually works. It's very, very, very slow, but it does work, so. And... Let's make some cotton gin. Cotton. Let's go over here. We guess we need this. We'll just walk around with this really long fruit picker. <laughs> I want to know where she puts all this stuff. Does she like wear it on her back? You know? Yes. Like like you pull out a sword. Like whoosh, here's my fruit picker. <laughs> For you know emergencies when you need fruit pickers. Clues and secrets. Um, I think I have. I currently have a maple spice tea from Canada. But I have yet to open it up. And that costs the equipment for processing con. Many worker lost their fingers in the processing room. Oh. I believe it. That didn't sound good. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh, 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 oh. Oh no! <laughs> Somebody should not they shouldn't just leave scythe lying around like that. Oh, My I know. goodness, you know, someone could really hurt themselves. Also, if you see one, you, I feel like like step back or yeah, something yeah. like that. Nancy. Come on, this is just it's common sense. Oh, and we need that, too. Everybody must down get with it. Come on, everybody. Do, do, do. Let's rock and roll. <gasps> but I'll wait. Go back, go back. That's stuck in my head. What song is this? <sighs> rock and, that's rock and roll. Sean Cassidy. Oh, oh, the one that was just playing, right? Yeah. Yeah, see, I don't know many of the songs. I listen to them on Spotify. Whoa! <gasps> oh. <laughs> I forgot that that happens. Surprise! That's so creepy. It's not okay. Upstairs. Upstairs. Well, happy puppy Harley. If we happen to, then that's great. But we're not going to. It looks like the painting is missing. Forever. It's not missing anymore. <laughs> Franklin Thornton, y'all. A photo design. Um, yes. Uh, there are several reference shots of. An actual plantation that we took pictures of so we could replicate Thornton Hall. I forget what the name of that plantation is. Um, Sleeping bag. Oh, what a great place to have a party. <laughs> right? Sleeping party. The ambiance is just perfect. Yeah. Although it would be if you wanted to. Ooh. We got a, this thingy. A, Jov a Jovic Tech EMF reader. Emph. Emph. Emph reader. <gasps> The Ghost of Thornton Hall. Hey, that's the game we're playing! Hey. Ha. Right, oh. Nancy. I was looking into Charlotte myself. <gasps> mm. I know you're going to be looking for Jessalyn during the day, but night is the best time to investigate the family. That's when the spirits get restless in more ways than one. Okay, I'm stop. You'll, you'll probably get more out of the family then anyway. The imp gadget I included works perfectly well on the property. I don't normally use these, but there is a strong correlation between the meter peaking and documented sightings. I know you don't like things that can't be explained, but just because it can't be explained yet doesn't mean you should disregard it. Call me if you want to talk. I don't know what help I can offer, but I'm there if you need me. Good luck, Savannah. And these are all just stories of instances where people spotted Charlotte. And Savannah's just interviewing those people with those encounters. Then she's Charlotte. She always was Charlotte. She always was Charlotte. Charlotte. Mm. So true. Uh, they like her impersonation of a southern accent. <laughs> well, thank you guys. Uh, uh, near death experiences. Ooh, the book. <gasps> Ooh, the, the Thornton of, of Black Rock Island. Island. Shall we read or? We will have to come back to this later, so we'll read it again later. All right. 
but at least we've looked at it. And hello, this is Jackson Thornton. These pictures, I think, are kind of creepy. A little bit, yeah. You would think they'd be just like, I don't know. Although I guess because they're like paintings. Ah! What the heck? <laughs> 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 Nancy, like, like, run away! <laughs> like, go away! <gasps> what was that? Hello. Hi. Uh, well, that's not okay. Who's that? Mariana Thornton. Hello. Uh, next time, if this, if a, if you see her again, try taking a picture with your phone camera. I wonder if that's allowed. Uh, I don't know. That's a good question. I would totally do it. You know what? I'm a, I'm a gonna go against. What's that the smudge? Point. It almost looks like something was painted over. Smudge? What smudge? It's that? all hmm. smudge. Oh, you can do this now. Oh, I can. Turpentine, paint thinner. Oh. And I can't pour oh. this directly on the painting. <laughs> there we go. All right. There's something back there. Oh. What is that? Are those graves? Yeah. To quote Bess in Shadow at the Water's Edge, where's your sense of panic? <laughs> she has no panic. Like some people have no chill, she has no panic. <laughs> Maybe we can open it with the fruit picker. <laughs> or the spade. We'll throw cotton. <laughs> Maybe that'll work. No. Turpentine. Say the chant. Charlotte, Charlotte, Charlotte. That was close, right? I love the other chants. <laughs> Time to go outside. Someone says to tell. Someone's telling us to go outside. All right, but Let's we should uh, go outside. Have we talked to a uh, Savannah um, recently on the phone? Probably. We'll, we'll not. go outside and then. Do Let's that. do that. Let's go outside and get some fresh air. Hi, Savannah. Oh, we should also call Addison. That's kind of important. Yes, that's a great plan. Hello, Addison. My name is Nancy Drew. I'm calling to see if you can help me with something. Is this about Jessalyn? Yes. I can't. I'm Turpentine. sorry. Turpentine. The sooner we can find out what happened to her, the better her chances of survival. Okay. I'll help with what I can. I see your message. How's better. Jessalyn's relationship with Clara? Okay. Maybe a little strained. Next reading. How so? Jess used to call her Chairman Mom. Behind her back, of course. It's not a terrible... No, no, it's could, fine. Could be worse. Do you think Clara could have anything to do with Jessalyn going missing? I don't think Jess was afraid of Clara. Hmm. But still, I can't say for sure. Oh, when are we taking a break? We've only got a half hour left of playtime. We could take a break, but I think we're, we're good. And, yeah. I mean, if you want to take a break for five minutes, I'll keep playing, but... Um, Nah. I think since we've had uh, a couple of intermissions already, <laughs> then we're probably good. We're gonna keep going. All right, we'll, we'll go straight. Yeah. What do you think of Colton? What's to think? He's always been decent to me and Jess. The bedroom key is crossed out in the scavenger hunt. Do you know where it is? No. Jessalyn must have found it, but I couldn't tell you where it is. Can you walk me through what happened the night Jessalyn went missing? She was about to get married, and I think the pressure of it was getting to her. It was supposed to be a night of blowing off some steam. Jess always loved a good scare. She used to make me sneak into scary movies with her when we were kids. So, in a weird way, spending the night searching for a ghost sort of made sense for a bachelorette party. At first, it was really fun. We were running around trying to scare ourselves silly. We were making these recordings like we were on a ghost hunter show. Then... Things got strange. Is there anything you remember that might help me find Jessalyn? Put it as no. I think that's it. Actually, wait. Hang on. Upstairs, uh, there was this door. Jess was desperate to get it open. Between you and me, I was relieved that she couldn't figure it out. Really? Why? I could feel eyes on me all night long. What were you doing at Thornton Hall that night? scavenger hunt, but I don't know. There was something strange about it. In what way? Jess was looking for something toward the end of the night. Kinda desperately. It stopped being fun. That's all I know. Hmm. How was Jessalyn acting that night? She was classic Jess for most of the night. 
Then something happened? Yeah. We were in the house and suddenly she just screams. And then she's nowhere to be found. What happened? I was alone in the house, jumping at every noise, too afraid to move. It felt like hours. Then she came back. She wouldn't say what had happened. She wouldn't even talk to me. She wanted to be left alone. She went downstairs, and that was that. Did you notice any secret passages or tunnels while you were at the house? No, but it was so drafty in there, it would surprise me if there weren't. You said things got strange. What did you mean? It was her and me up in that freezing house, and I remember thinking, I'll never get to sleep. Then I started to feel fuzzy. fuzzy. Fuzzy? Like I was underwater or something. And I noticed Jess was gone again. I wanted to get up and find her, but I, I couldn't move. It was like this invisible hand was pinning me down. I heard a strange voice. It wasn't Jess. Then it was the morning. I was alone and Jess was gone. You said you heard a voice. Charlotte. Yep. I'm sure of it. Did she say anything? Totally she <laughs> sang. I only heard a little bit. Oh yeah. Would you consider <laughs> yourself a believer in the paranormal? If you'd asked that last week, I would have made some crack about Bigfoot. Hey, don't get Bigfoot. And now? <laughs> and now I'm going to say that I don't believe. Because I'm afraid if I let myself believe, I'll be opening a door that no one can close. See you later. Find Jess. All right. Guys, look behind you right now. Just make <laughs> sure you're not being watched. <laughs> That's not ominous. No. Hi, Savannah. What's Hi, up? Hi, Nancy. Did you get the package I left for you? Mm -hmm. Yes. I think they're silly. But apparently, some of the people I've met swear by using EMF signatures on the property. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what have you been up to since we spoke last? I've been teaching the road to know my wheels. Are you working on the next book? I've been running away from the next book. In an empty house that was filling up with chatty ghosts. But who knows? When I'm out of gas, maybe I'll have no choice but to listen to what they have to say. If they're interested, I'll send you a gallery proof. If they're not, I guess I'll go teach. <laughs> Do you yes, know anything cats, about the factory watch. accident? <laughs> Nothing I can verify. It's been scratched out of the local history. When I was there, I expected <laughs> to feel something when I stood near the old factory. <laughs> and nothing? As many spirits as I expected. I only oh, met yeah. one. Oh, Charlotte. Charlotte? That'd be the one. Dear sweet Charlotte, the terror of Black Rock Island. All right. You guys have the lights turned out with where you're, where you're watching? I Did spoke to Wade. Sorry. I figured that might happen eventually. Can I explain, or are we beyond that? I'm sure you have your reasons. I do. Wade said he was expecting you. Why didn't you tell me that? I was going to come. I meant it when I told him I was coming. But then? But then I got scared. Oh. Oh. Jesse Rue, uh, you did remind me of something. So, uh, this character, Savannah Woodham, actually was intended to be named Savannah with her accent to be, an, you know, a southern Georgian accent um, when her character was made for Shadow at the Water's Edge. Now, that was an intentional thing by the designers because it was foreshadowing this game. It was quite a ways out, but they did have it planned. That's really cool. What is it, like five games out? Mm-hmm. From, yeah. Because that was 23 and this one's 28. Yeah. That's they, they, I, I think at the time they weren't sure which game number it would be. Like, I think they were trying to balance out with a 25th game, you know, making the 25th game special, but then, you know, so they moved a few titles around during launch time. Or, well, they had, like, they had designed where they want to be sending Nancy. Mm -hmm. They didn't really design the mystery, but so when they finally came to this game, um, that's not a coincidence. It actually is intentional that Savannah's name is Savannah. Well, that's super cool. I love What scared you away from taking the case? To be blunt, the living Thorntons are just as scary as the dead ones. Why? 
They've dug so many graves on that rock that death himself is on the Christmas card list. <laughs> I can't help but wonder if they're misfortunate fools or just addicted to Sunday clothes and the sound of a spade taking a bite out of cold clay. Tell me what happened when you met Charlotte. I'll tell you, hon, but you got to remember that you are not like me. What do you mean? I have opened the door to the spirit world, and you have not. And don't you dare do it, ever. You hear? <laughs> yeah, I yeah. can agree to that. I mean it. The dead are just like lost children. If you're out there leaving a trail of breadcrumbs, they will find you. Enough of the PSA. <laughs> I snuck out there to the ruins on the anniversary of her death. I waited in silence for a long time. Nothing. You didn't say the rhyme? Oh, that. Oh, it's cute, but I wasn't looking for my daddy's brain-dead bloodhound. <laughs> They come when they come, and in the dead of night, she came. Stood right beside me. Just me and her, eye to eye, for a hot minute. Finally, she reached for my wrist. She pulled me through a fog that became smoke and then fire. She pulled me back to the night she died. Could you see what happened that night? I couldn't see a thing. I, I could only feel the heat. I could feel how sad she was and how angry. I'm sorry, hon. Talking about it don't come easy. Goodbye, NDKHES. Glad to have you stop by. <laughs> Hopefully you'll be able to stop by next week. Yes. I'm See. just trying to fit the pieces together. What does Charlotte have to do with Jesslyn? All families got one thing in common. Every generation, just like the last. There's some rebels and some oddballs that break the mold. But for the most part, one generation gonna follow into the footsteps of the next. From what I gathered, Jesslyn seems to be cut from the same cloth as Charlotte. I'm you ask me, <laughs> if someone saw Charlotte as a threat, then Jesslyn's been born behind enemy lines. Yep. You wow. said you opened the door to the spirit world. What did you mean? You really sure you want to know? I'm yes. curious yes. and <laughs> no disrespect, <laughs> but... Last time, I told you how my daddy got me interested in ghosts, but... That's only part of the story. When I was young, there was a spot in my room where I could fold back the wallpaper. There was this gorgeous old wood behind it. I mean, to me it was. I'd trace the ripples in the grain with my finger for sometimes hours. Why? I don't know. I, I was a girl and it was the only thing I knew about that no one else did. I don't know exactly when it started, but I began to trace a beautiful old willa into the wall over and over again. Strong limbs running up to the sky and the tangled roots grabbing tight at the dirt. I was obsessed. I traced the tree until I knew every detail. I even started to see it after a time. Little indentations in the wood. But one day, the lines felt strained and cold. And I realized it wasn't the wall I was feeling. There was a girl on the other side of the wood. She was showing me what to draw. She was trying to tell me something. I should have shut my eyes tight and glued the paper back. But I didn't, and I couldn't. I let her teach me the shape of the tree again and again until one day I saw it in real life. What happened? Not a thing until a strong storm hit a few months later. I don't have to tell you what they found when they pulled what was left of the willow tree from the ground, now do I? That's creepy. That's when I decided I would learn to listen. I knew even then it had come at a cost. I just had no idea how high. That's so creepy. Don't, don't trace a tree, you guys. <laughs> See you later. Good night. <laughs> Moral of the story. Children. Uh, Jesse Rue, yes, someone actually has said the keyword. Ooh. I'm not going to tell you who it is until, like, in 15 minutes, I'll tell you. Hey. Boop. Hey. What Tom's do you gone. think of Clara? She's... She's just a little severe until you get to know her. And then? I wouldn't know. You're holding something back. <laughs> so what if I am? I'll draw it out of you. Oh, that's it! <laughs> Don't that's want it. to go in the house? <laughs> Don't blame you. <laughs> Excuse me. I think I drink way too much water, gulp air too much when I drink drinks. How did you and Jessalyn <laughs> meet? I saw her one day and thought... This is the girl I'm going to marry. <laughs> and then I threw a rock at her face. 
That seems rude. <laughs> like, metaphorically? <laughs> no, I was just a kid. I had a very <laughs> limited game book. <laughs> she still has a little scar. You can see it when she smiles. That's true. <laughs> KP Casey, I like that. <sighs> I'll never live that down. <laughs> I imagine things improved from there. <laughs> we became best friends. Then we grew up and became what we are. Or were. Or... Hmm. So, you and Jessalyn must have How dated for quite some time. Actually didn't start dating until a year ago. Really? We both dated other people, but nothing worked out. One day, Clara had enough and sat us down and said, Everyone knows you're going to get married. <laughs> Go to it already. <laughs> what? I do declare. Jess do was declare. mortified. <laughs> I took her out to the coast since that always cheered her up. We talked through the night, and by the time the sun came up, it just stopped sounding so silly. Well, when you're tired, everything sounds reasonable. I know. <laughs> <laughs> then you think about it the next day, you're like, yeah, you sleep. Well, what do you think up, happened like, to Jessalyn? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to avoid thinking about it. I have a... My mind can get caught up in a real dark place. Hmm. Maybe he suffers from depression. You know, depression. when things around me get bad. What do you mean? Uh, ignore me. I've been up way too long. That doesn't sound like something you would just... I don't know. Do you know anything about Clara's past? No. It's funny you ask. Why is that? I could tell Jess had something to tell me about Clara. She'd get so close and just... stop dead. Hmm. She never told you anything? I know Clara's mom died when she was young, and she ended up living with her cousin's family, but that's it. I'd better get going. Goodbye. All right. Where to? Should we go back to the graveyard? And we should start solving puzzles and things. Oh, check out should. your task list. Oh, that's right. All right. Haven't done that. No. Nope. Let's check. Haven't checked. Did that? Did that? Did that? Can't check. Still have to do that. Wee. All right. Oh, we haven't Can't done check this. that off yet. Let's go hunt down the tombstone. Can't that check that off. Picture. Still haven't okay. done that. Ooh. All right. Let's eh. go. You could say Nancy Drew is is like in her 60s or 70s because that's how old the voice actress was. Ooh. Oh, oh, ah. it's up on to the right. Oh, the other statue. <gasps> she's looking at you. Death! And now she's not. You can't do that! Oh. Can't do that! Oh. Don't do that. Oh. That's not okay. Where to? Space Luxembourg! <laughs> cool. An empty tombstone. Well, 54 souls. Creepy. That's an odd name. Nancy Drew rocks 28. When we have kids, if we have kids, would we ever think about taking Nancy Drew characters for their names? Ooh, I kind of would. I would consider naming a daughter Nancy, not just because of Nancy Drew, but because my grandmother's name was Nancy. Oh, yeah. Well, that's awesome. I don't, I don't know if I would. I do know of one fan out there. And I absolutely love the picture they sent us, but they had a son, and they named him Nico after Nico, uh, Nikola Tesla. That's no, they named cool. it. No, they named. I think they named him Nicolo or N Nicola, Nicola, as in Nikola Tesla. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. It was either Nico or Nikola. That's a. Want yeah, to hear a ghost? Yeah. Wait, what? Check it out. Sounds wow. From what I understand, the Thornton family business is very successful. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We got money and all the trouble that buys. Who is that? Wait. Nancy, Nancy Drew fan 92 Whovians? Was that a reference to the statue? Like the, the Weeping Angels thing? Because if so, yes. I understood that reference. Yes, I understood that reference too. <laughs> Do people really come here trying to meet Charlotte's ghost? <laughs> 
Around the time Charlotte's ghost was driving the family away, the stories started to spread. Little kids around here started playing this game to scare themselves silly. They'd turn off the lights and say, <laughs> really? Fire so red, <laughs> night so black. Dear Dude, sweet so Charlotte, sure. please Taste come that. back over and over again until they just about scare themselves to death. It was just a game, but that's when people that. started jumping the fence at night hoping to meet her, saying that same silly rhyme. Most had just come and go in peace, but the ones who found her it messed them up real good. A couple even went into shock. Uh, Jesse Rue, 1995. That is correct. We did use the same sound effect from Saw. I was gonna say, that sounds very familiar. Because we're tying in the connection between Savannah in that game and this game. Hey. What do you think of Colton? I do not like that shifty little punk. Do it again. But a few times. I have said all that right. about all Jesse's boyfriends. With him... I mean it a little extra. <laughs> Something's oh, crooked with the two oh. of them together. Water. I don't know if she can see it or not. Hmm. Let's can I to listen recordings. to more recordings? Sure. Same one. Can I listen to more recordings? Sure. I wonder if we have to come back later when he has like new recordings. It was the same thing. Maybe. Let's listen to more. Can I listen to more recordings? <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh, okay, that's really kind of different. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see, is it true that you request a pass? Listen to more recordings. Listen to more recordings. Can I listen to more recordings? <laughs> sure. Because. Nancy Drew rocks 28 because they're just so fascinating. Because you get an award for listening to it too many times. A trophy. Is it true that you have a questionable past? You asking if I really went to jail? Yeah. Yes. I advise against it. <laughs> well, why? It's not a fun place and they don't let you leave. Rude. <laughs> no, I mean, why did you go to jail? I know what you meant. I know what you meant. I took a tour of the seasons. My debt is paid. That's all. All right. Suppose a danger. Was there anything, something that Maybe. would make you a danger to someone like Jesselyn? Get this straight, girl. I never hurt no one in my life. Now go. Go on, get. Go on, no. get. I want to listen to more recordings. Can I listen to more recordings? <laughs> sure. Sure. Cool. Savannah said Charlotte was supposedly oh, Charlotte. a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> not supposedly. In my experience, ghosts tend to be not real. Then consider yourself lucky. In my experience, of which I have significantly more, <laughs> reality isn't that simple. Have you ever actually seen this ghost? This ghost was my cousin Charlotte, <laughs> and Charlotte. yes, I wow, saw her. I'm a lot today. <laughs> I saw her grow up. I was here the night she died, and I've seen her since, much as I wish that wasn't true. Bye, Ninja Shrimp. Thanks for stopping by. Bye! I saw something I can't explain in the house. That's why you couldn't get me in there for nothing. <laughs> I don't believe in ghosts, but... That don't stop you from feeling them. Would you believe my happiest memories live in that house? Christmases and a long summer nights stargazing on the roof. He's on the roof. That sounds great. Yeah. Except now that it's falling apart, I would not... Who runs the family thing. company? Clara. Do you They're think that's here. fair? No. <laughs> no. I found a set of graves without names on the markers. That is where our troubles began. What happened? Most of the family would rather it never come up. Our first factory was right here on the island. At the time, it made us a lot of money. But along the way, we got greedy. Never built a place for the workers to stay. They'd bed down right on the processing floor. 
Nothing for heat in the winter, so the workers built fires inside. One winter, there was a wicked cold snap. They built a couple of extra big fires, and in the night, the fumes built up. I don't know what he's saying when he's None not. of them ever woke up again. Oh. That's when we split in two. Half saying this'll never happen again, and half saying accidents happen. Grieve and move on. Oh. Wow. She has a lot to ask. When did the factory accident happen? That was more than a hundred years ago, and we still can't move on. That's why this house still stands, I think. Until we Thorntons decide who we're gonna be, we're stuck on this island. And it's not the still moving? You right. should see it on a summer day when the ocean and the sky are sharing the same blue and the grass is bright. bright. But here it is, gray and dark, under all the misery we've heaped upon it. Upon it. There is a lot of dialogue in this game, isn't there? Mm-hmm. Like we, uh, wow, that's a lot. <laughs> Were you close wow. to Jessalyn? Everyone was. Everyone is. She's the bright spot of happiness in this whole miserable family. If you guys want to take um, like a five minute break, you guys go ahead. We'll just keep talking with Wade. Come back in five minutes and then we'll wrap up our stream with prizes and goodbyes and all that. So go ahead and... Does anyone actually live here? No one lives out on the island, but just on the shore. Why aren't you in the house? I'm only on the island because Jessalyn's missing. Nothing's gonna get me in that house. So then shouldn't he be out looking for her? He's just kind of waiting well, You don't the seem like a bad guy. Can you tell me why you ended up in jail? You really want to know? I do. I do. Then listen. I don't care if you believe me, but keep this to yourself. Okay. She's gonna tell I wasn't close <laughs> to the company then. Still ain't, but... I heard through a friend of the guy down the way, you know how it goes. I heard that our processing plant in town was up to its old tricks. Hiring people who couldn't afford to quit and treating them beyond bad. Locking them in to meet quotas and such. I asked Clara. She denied, naturally. But it made her so mad, I asked. Casey, I'll message you. I had to go check it out myself. I went in the middle of the night, and right away I saw it was true. The exit was padlocked, right in plain view of the world, and no one cared. I broke in. That's true. I was furious. I broke one of the big machines. That's true, too. So there it is. I stood up, and boy, did I get knocked down. You must be pretty mad at Clara. You don't even know the half of it. Would you like to run the company? Good, sweet nonsense, no. <laughs> Do not even imply that I'm after that to anyone. What's implying. Clara's relationship to the rest of the family? My cousin, Hopper and Charlotte's cousin. <laughs> she lived with the girls Charlotte. after her mama passed. I'm getting killed. Cool. <laughs> Have you always been a ghost hunting enthusiast? I'm not exactly enthusiastic about the dead, no offense meant. But yes, I do find it interesting. Why? Life is a quest for truth, is it not? And death has a way of stripping away all pretensions. That's pretty philosophical for a guy wearing boots. <laughs> you northerners don't have a lock on big thinkers. We got plenty. <laughs> like Roscoe J. Redbrook and the Gimbal Tucky Boys. And I dare you to say their lyrics don't equal those of the Greek poets. <laughs> they don't. Well, what are you do and we it? got that old guy with the white suit and the chickens. Point <laughs> is, I like ghosts because they show me what is, not what I want to see. And wearing boots don't make you stupid. Makes you smart, if it's muddy. Exactly. <laughs> That's what I think. You stand by your boots. These boots are made for walking. Do you have a key to the crypts? Sorry. Aww. What did you mean about the family being split in two? You wouldn't know by looking around here. Seeing the state we're in. But we're loaded. What's that have to do with anything? 
The Thornton family bought its money with blood, and not always our own. And you think one part of the family had more to do with this than the other? I don't speak ill of the dead. Especially not when they're staring up at the soles of my boots. Look around. You'll see. I'm not sure that I want to, but let's listen to more recordings. Can I listen to more recordings? Sure. Goodbye. Get on out of here now. Get on out of here now. <laughs> Perfect. That's a great goodbye. Okay, also, just like, if, if you're going to be dead and if you're going to make noises for people to hear, make it something, like, interesting to say, you know? Yeah. Don't be gibberish. Yeah. Just like, uh, you know, it's just like, that's, you know, why not be like, hey, I love your shirt, or, you know... <laughs> <laughs> just like or watch your step that that stone right there is loose exactly you know just like something or even just like words words just like what should we save our game as you guys it's about time we start wrapping up our stream here mm -mm. is he pointing at us yes that is rude you do right. not point pointing is rude you should learn manners <laughs> okay yeah, let's go back out. Alright. What's your now? We should go see if the phone's charged. Yeah. Or let's check off our task list. Still can't ch did that. Still have to do that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Alright. <gasps> well, thanks, Super Sleuth. There's something in the window. I'd better check out what's going on upstairs. Are you no. sure? Wait. This is a good spot to stop. Okay. Save game. Hmm. What should we save it as? What should we save it as? Hmm. This is freaking me out. Adios. <laughs> Adios. <laughs> Adios. Perfect. Save. And then we should stop right there. Let's. Uh, main menu. No. Alright. Cool, bam. Cool, cool. Cool, 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 type. <laughs> Alright. Ah. There we go. It's you. Alright, you Charlotte. guys. Yeah. Thank you again for stopping by in this interesting uh, <laughs> Twitch party. I am like all uh -huh. the right now. Oh, it's all good. Uh, let's see. We'll be back tomorrow at 3 o'clock, and then yes. we will play till 5. So it's like a two-hour stream with um, like a ten-minute intermission in between. Yes. That's what will happen tomorrow, and uh, maybe next mm -hmm. week we might extend it, depending on how far we actually get in the game. Yeah, it's true. I don't know how far we are. Yes. At this point. Thank you, Mystery Gal. Oh, to answer your question, Mystery Gal, I do have a favorite episode of the TV series. It is um, Mystery in the Hardy Boys, uh, the Mystery at Hollow. Hall Hollywood Hills. <laughs> it's actually a two-part episode with the Hardy Boys and Nancy Drew in it, but mm -hmm. I think I like that one the best. That is. Do yeah. you have a favorite episode? I think that's probably. I haven't seen like a lot of them, but the ones that I have seen, like that's that was one of the ones that I saw. Yeah. Um, or those that two-parter one, and that one cracks me up, especially the very end, because Joe is hilarious. So you guys, you guys should watch that. Just if nothing else, you're the enemy. All right. Anyway, but yeah. Um. Uh, so this browser isn't working very well either. Well, uh, let's see. We've got a few goodbyes that we could. That's true. Use. Should we stay with that? Uh, not quite yet. We should say that we do have a winner. Oh yes. In my chat feed, let me see if this uh, program actually caught any of this. And the word. winner. The winner is, is of the yeah, keyword sure thing, and it's the season one um, set of DVDs for the Hardy Boys and Nancy Drew Mysteries. So, congrats in advance to whoever you are. Oh, so, okay, so this program catches everyone who showed up in the feed, and it shows everyone who said the keyword, but they've got everyone in alphabetical order. So it's a good thing I was paying attention, oh. because in my line of sight, and just so you guys know, um, if people are like talking to each other, sometimes when you see in your feed, someone says one thing, but this person says it second. For us, it might look like this. Yeah. So it's not exact. 
it'll but look a little bit different for everyone. So I did see someone who said the keyword first. All right. And from my chat feed, um, no, I'll tell you what the keyword is. The keyword was grave. <gasps> grave. If you didn't say the keyword, then you had made a grave mistake. <laughs> okay, anyway. Uh, <laughs> and, okay, oh, yeah, so that does, it does highlight everyone who said it. But the no person order. who showed up first in my feed was... <gasps> Drow. Seeker of Books. Hooray! Seeker of Books, congrats. You are our winner for the Nancy Drew Hardy Boys TV series DVD Yay! set. Seeker of Books, congrats. If you could please private message us your name and your mailing address. Yes. Um, and then we can send that out to you. Mm -hmm. I love puns too. Coca Cola. <laughs> but um, <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> congrats, Seeker of Books. Yes, well, congratulations. Yes, Seeker of Books. And thanks again for participating and for your guys' hints and tips about some of the stream stuff. Yes. I really appreciate your patience. Tomorrow will be a lot easier since we're going to work off of this program, this old program that mm -hmm. we know works well. Yeah. And we'll have another prize tomorrow. Tomorrow's prize will be um, a trivia question. And um, I'm going to use this this program that catches everyone who says the correct answer. And then we can randomly select from there. And then it'll randomly select it itself, actually. Gotcha. Ooh. Yeah. Well, that's see this, awesome. this button right here? So let's roll it. Ooh. Well, that's really yeah. cool. So everyone who, like, enters in the right answer, which I'll put right here, um, it'll show up on this list. And oh, uh, so if I scroll up, then it'll, look it'll like show, like, that's a person who entered, that's a person who's entered. Oh. Yeah, for example. Well, that's really cool. Technology yes. and something. Technology. Technology <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> I will remember to whisper to you, KP Casey. Uh, and I'll need to whisper to Seeker of Books as well. Uh, anything else? Uh, this will be up on YouTube later. Yes. So if you missed this, any part of the stream, you can rewatch it again later. Exactly. Uh, forgetting anything else? Um, do we have any announcements for anything? Oh. Don't forget to participate in the pumpkin carving contest. Oh, yes. And plan, if you haven't done it already, costume contest. Mm -hmm. You've got this weekend's to enter um, and post your picture with the hashtag ND costume on Twitch. Or not Twitch, on Twitter. <laughs> and <Facebook. laughs> yeah, and everyone who enters gets a t-shirt, so. Yeah. Yes. Um, all right. I think that's it. I think Is that so. it? I think that's all. That's all I can. Joanna <laughs> and Coco Kringle Bar. And Coco Kringle Bar <laughs> with fabulous earrings, by the way. Oh, thanks. My friend Cassie is trying to start. Um, let's see if I can get it closer. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of steep. Kind of steep. Well, maybe if I it's like you know, moderately. Moderately. She is trying to start an Etsy.